Hi, I'm Michael from Rhino Rack. In this video I'll be showing you the assembly and fitment of a Rhino Rack alloy tray. Okay, let's get straight into it. The first part of this process is to assemble the frame. Taking the side rails and placing them into the end pieces. Repeating this process to the remaining corners in the tray. The last thing we need to do in the frame assembly process is to insert the fastening screws into the end pieces. Right, the frame assembly is done, time to install the planks. Note, on the side planks there's a routed section. This goes on the outermost edges of the tray. Insert the planks by placing them one side in, slide the other side in gently. Tap it into place. And with the plain planks, they go in the centre. Inserting them in the same method as before. Once the planks are installed, we just need to secure them into place and we'll be good to go. To secure the planks to the tray, lift the tray up off the ground, insert the bolt into the hole and tension it like so with the allen key supplied. Repeat this process to all the remaining planks in the tray. Now the tray has been assembled, it's time to install the tray onto your roof racks. Once you've got the aloe tray sitting on top of your roof racks, it's now just a matter of taking the bolt assembly and placing it into the end of the bar, sliding it along lifting up the alloy tray and dropping it back down over the bolt assembly. Once this side is done, it's now just a matter of doing the other three sides of the crossbars. Once we have the bolt assembly in place, all we need to do now is put the L bracket over the bolt, place the two washers over that and secure the eye bolt down into place. Once you've got the eye bolt secured, repeat this process to three other bolt assemblies on the tray. Right, we're almost there. One of the last things we need to do is drop the V-tab into the gap in between the remaining planks. Once you've dropped the V-tab in, drop the channel nut, rotating at 90 degrees, and tension the bolt. Repeating the same process to each gap that is left in between the planks. The last step in this process is to fit the bar end cap. Then you're good to go. I'm Michael from Rhino Rack. See you next time.